Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Whitebox tools uh, with Python and uh, ArcGIS. So Whitebox tools is um, an open source uh, um, library uh, for doing all kinds of geo processing. Uh, it was developed by Dr. Zhong Linji at the University of uh, Guelph, and it's very powerful. So if you want to learn more about uh, Whitebox tools, you can go to the website whiteboxgeo.com. And so Whitebox tools uh, is kind of a uh, computing backend that you can integrate it uh, into a bunch of um, uh, front end for example uh, ArcGIS, QGIS and Python R Jupyter so it supports uh, this front end and so originally I developed uh, uh, the front end for ArcGIS, uh, Python, Jupyter and also R so in this video I'm going to show you how to use some of these front ends uh, so that you can uh, integrate into your geo processing uh, workflow and so you're welcome to uh, download uh, the whitebox tools so the open core uh, is free and open source uh, i think right now it has over 460 tools that are free and open source uh, you are welcome to check out the uh, github repository and recently it also released a whitebox uh, workflow for python that it has native support so you can basically read data and write data using python uh, so it's very powerful and uh, but in this video, I'm just going to cover some of the uh, front ends that I develop. And uh, so first, let me go to uh, my GitHub repo so you can check out some of the uh, uh, front ends here. So I'm going to introduce Whitebox, Whitebox GUI, and also uh, Whitebox for ArcGIS, and also Whitebox R. So you can click the link. Uh, the link uh, also in the video description um, below. And the first one I'm going to uh, cover, maybe let's try this one first, uh, ArcGIS. So if you click the link, and it's very easy to use uh, all we need is just simply click the um, uh, green button download this one as a zip file to your computer or you can just use git to git clone uh, the um, package to your computer and then under for example i clone this one to my uh, downloads directory and from there you should be able to see um, the package so essentially this is the uh, ArcGIS toolbox and but behind the scene when you run the tool it's going to use the uh, exe within the wbt um, directory and i also provide some sample data here that you can utilize and also some screenshot so uh, this one support ArcGIS pro and also ArcGIS uh, 10.5 and um, newer so if you have a lower version then you won't be able to use that uh, it's quite slow so i recommend that you use ArcGIS pro and you will be able to see, for example, the uh, interface here. Uh, it, right now, this one has a total of uh, 518 tools. And so the majority of those are over 460 are uh, open source. So it's free. So you're welcome to use that. Uh, it's very powerful. And you can also look at the, uh, the source code. So here just shows you some uh, interface. But next, let me show you uh, in action how to uh, use that. So after you download this one to your computer, then uh, this is where the Python toolbox. So all we need just to load this one uh, to ArcGIS. And since I'm on Linux, I'm using a remote desktop. So let me show you what it looks like here. Right. So if you're using ArcGIS Pro, uh, you can simply uh, folder and then add uh, folder connection. So then you can add this one, navigate to the directory, and then just click uh, OK. You should be able to see this one listed under um, the uh, the toolbox here. So at uh, the directory here, and if you click, it's only take a couple seconds to load the tool because uh, it's quite a large number of uh, tools. And then you can see uh, about Whitebox tools and then all the different categories. So you have a lot of tools. Again, you're welcome to see the source code if you want. So if I click, uh, how about this? Um, hydrological uh, analysis, for example, and then they say uh, field depression. Right? If you double click, it's going to show you here and uh, you can welcome to click the help documentation uh, it should uh, pull up this you're going to show you some information but uh, you, if you want to learn more you can check out the uh, github repository so next let me show you uh, how we can use that for data processing and let me show uh, add our sample data set so um, let me remove all the um, data layer and then uh, add the dm so again this is inside the um a sample data directory so once i add the dm here um next you can use the tool so for example if you're trying to delineate uh, 
flow directions and flow accumulation to doing hydrological analysis i can click here and then scroll down i can say full accumulation full uh, flow accumulation uh, full workflow and here just select the dm and the output you can select where you want the output so keep in mind it only support the output to a geo tip so don't save your result to a geo database and only save it to a directory so here i'm just going to say maybe um dm okay uh, the output dm and the uh, flow pointer basically is the flow direction so i can uh flow dir okay and then also the accumulation so hccu right and there are a couple other options in here uh you're welcome to explore to see more information also check these uh, boxes and then just click one uh it should be pretty quick see uh, less than um, two seconds and now you have the data set so here if i go back to my uh project directory refresh then you should be able to see the data from here right so the dm the uh, flow direction flow accumulation so if you check your file and then to here you should be able to see that right and also the flow accumulation so you should be able to see for example the uh, the stream um, because it's much high value so you'll be able to see this and if you want to for example um, rust the data layer you can do some uh, analysis for example uh, let me see here imagery and uh, image clarification so if you want to do some clarification you want to do some extraction uh, you are welcome to extract the uh, flow directly um, from the um, uh, imagery you can also click the raster layer so if you select a specific layer and then click the raster layer symbology straight it uh, relief so if you are selecting the dm and then you can create something like this easily in uh, ArcGIS and so there's other data layers you can welcome to uh, customize and change the symbology so this is how you can use the uh, the toolbox within your uh, geo processing workflow and welcome to check out other tools right now it has uh, 518 tools available and you can also check this make sure that you have the the latest version so if i run the uh, version and then hit one you should be able to see it open the detail and you can be able to see the result uh it doesn't show in here uh, there might be just access pro uh thing if you use ArcMap, you should be able to see uh the outcome and let me try the other one list tools okay and for example if you want to find all the tools contained uh lidar functionality uh click and then read details uh it's weird uh it's probably because i'm running uh, on a uh, um, uh, virtual computer so it doesn't show you but if you're running on locally you should be able to see all the tools this stick right now under the uh, message box so this is how you can uh, use that with um, ArcGIS okay so the next one i'm going to show you is uh, uh, python and uh, jupyter again go to the uh, my um, home page and then click white box so here uh, this is a uh, uh, Python package and it's very easy to use and install. So you can just simply install that and then you should be able to uh, use uh, all the tools. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. So uh, let me open my uh, Anaconda and then um, here open JupyterLab. And I'm going to create a new notebook. So I'm going to create a new one. And so from here, um, I just simply exclamation p install hyphen u white box um, probably i already installed so i don't need to install again the latest version is um um 2.2 2. and then once you have that i can just import white box um and then just create white box equal to white box dot white box two so we are creating uh, or white box tools and then once you have access then you can just use wbt dot uh, and then just press uh, tab on your keyboard it should bring up all the uh, functions available so this is exactly the same just like earlier in the arcgis pro you will be able to see all the tools and so for me i can say for example version uh, you can you can see all the tools wbt dot maybe license right and you can run any tools you like so wbt dot uh, i think there's a function list 
list tools, right? You can list all the tools in here as a dictionary. And each tool here has a name and also has a short description describing the tool. So you see, uh, right now has um, a lot of tools. Uh, you want to learn learn, uh, learn how many tools? You can just use LEN. Uh, 449 because I don't in, uh, include all the licenses so if you uh, this is the open core so basically you have all the open cores uh, tools uh, in here if you have additional licenses you should have more and I believe right now it's 518 and so this is for the, um, 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 the Python package and if you want to learn more here for example I want I can um, run this example so it has uh, so here Just copy and paste and so the, the package has a dm within the package but you're welcome to change this one to whatever data directory uh, you have and once you set the working directory you should be able to just simply use the file name uh, and then you can uh, also the output something like that so here let me show you uh, maybe i can change to my directory here so how about this because i have the test data i have the dm so i can for example specify my directory to this one rather than using the package directory so here and then uh, i probably don't need the package resources anymore right so now i have this dm or within there i have the file name dm i'm going to uh, smooth the dm and also use the uh, depression breaching to create a depression free uh, dm and then i'm going to compute the um, uh, flow accumulation so take a look and see it's it's done and on the left and here let me see here downloads whitebox tools wbt uh no wbt uh it's the other one test data dm you see that so all the data files right now are available here and then you can use this one to uh, load back into your um, um desktop yes if you want you can also use leaf map to load the data so this is how you can uh process the data using uh white box uh, um, package you can also use the white box GUI so if you don't want to use the um, command line or you don't even want to write code you can use simply import uh, white box uh, GUI so this is specifically for Jupyter again uh, it's open source you can check out the source code on github this one shows you how I built this one is based on um, ipy widget and ipy tree so you have two modes uh, you have this one and here also shows your demo so let me show you in action so you just white box gui dot and then just show so by default you're going to show you something like this again uh, 518 tools um you need some additional licenses but uh, over one four hundred and uh really 449 those are the uh open core so they can use that directly so again you can just select uh you'll be able to select from here and then it's going to you can also do the source for example i can say depression right you want to find out the tools that related to depression uh feeling breaching so here right depression uh feel depression and then from here you can see the short description you can click the link to open the uh, browser at uh, the source code in your browser so you links back to the uh, white box tools uh, uh github repository then you can see all the source code you want to learn more about how the tool was uh, implemented and also here right select the dm output and you can uh, adjust all the parameters if you like so you can simply okay select the dm and then the tool here uh, no, okay sorry uh, test data dm right and then select the tiff uh, next one you can select the output where you want to save the output so i can simply uh, download here maybe oops and, and then say maybe uh, field.tif okay and then select okay after that uh, you there are other parameters if you want to adjust and you just click run you see it's done um, less than the point 0.1 seconds and you should be able to see the data here download right this is the uh, the view dn and this is one uh, option uh, you can close that it's gone and there's uh, the other one called tree tree more so if you say tree equal to two uh it's going to show you like a tree structure so in this way you can uh expand i can clip and similarly if i select one two 
uh, on the right, you're going to show you the same interface. So everything is built uh, on top of uh, uh, iPad widget. So again, let me show you the differences. Uh, uncheck this one here. So uh, by default, it looks like that. So you have two columns, uh, left and right, the category, and also specific to. Uh, but this one, it also have two columns. And this one, you have three columns. So if you select the two, it's going to show you something like that. And if you like this, you can click. Uh, you should be able to see uh, the results. And then you can just do the same thing. Select input, specify output, uh, adjust the parameters, click one, and then you're good to go. Uh, you're going to see the source call, click the link, uh, open the browser, and then you should be able to see the source call. Okay, so this is how you can uh, use the uh, Whitebox tools with Python and uh, Jupyter. The next one I'm going to show you uh, is um, R, the R package. So uh, if you click the home page, Whitebox R. So right now it's available on a crane, so we can uh, use that. So I already originally developed the package, but uh, more recently, uh, Andrew Brown uh, has been helping uh, updating the packages and also made them uh, made available on Crank. So uh, a huge thank you to him. So he has been working really hard to uh, maintain and updating the package. So in this video, I'm going to show you briefly how to uh, install it. I'm just going to open R Studio, and then I'm showing you the step how to install it. So this is the R Studio, right? And you can simply just click install. Uh, just search white box. Uh, you speed to find it and then just click install it should take a couple seconds and once it's installed you can import the libraries so again these are all the front end uh, it's just like a wrapper uh, behind the scene it's using the white box um, back end and once you install you should be able to see under the user library if you click uh, then you should be able to see more information so you can see all the tools in here how to install uh, sample dm data if you click any link, it will show you the uh, description. So next, there's the simply library, right? Uh, import white box. Oops. Hit enter, and it's going to show you. Okay, could not find white box tools because we need the executable. And just follow the instruction here. Next step, just to use this one. So white box, uh, install white box. Uh, basically, download the exe. Um, on uh, to your computer uh, from the whitebox geo website and okay right now the whitebox library is located here within uh, this path and so the next step is to you already library so the you, next one you can just simply now you can just wbt uh, underscore and you're going to show you the list of tools just like in python that you wipe wbt dot and now if you see this right you can see all the tools so i can say for example version if you want to see uh, what's the version, right? Hit enter. This is right now version um, 2.2, and you can also wb uh, wbt underscore list tools, right? And you can list all the tools all at once, right? Just like what I show you uh, earlier in the um, uh, Jupiter. And if you want to learn more, uh, you can welcome to check out the uh, example here. Do I have any? This is for R Python for QGS. And so what books are? I believe I have some examples here. So if you want, you can simply uh, copy and run the example, just like something in here. And yeah, that's all. And if you have any questions, you are welcome to visit the GitHub repository and uh, click the discussions uh, or report on issue. You can do the same thing for other packages. If you have any questions about um, the uh, the, the computer backend, you're welcome to uh, reach out to Dr. Zhong Linji and uh, Anthony uh, of the Geospatial, a uh, white box geospatial uh, company. And um, um, you're welcome also to buy uh, the license. So you have other uh, extension here. Uh, if you can, uh, please support them. And okay, so that's all for this uh, video. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.